Well, you guys got another video here for you. The Minis Forum UM780 XTX. This is probably one of the best mini PCs you can buy today. It's from Minis Forum, and Minis Forum probably making some of the best mini PCs out there on the market. The specs of this one is a Ryzen 7 7840HS, which has a base clock frequency of 3.8 gigahertz max frequency of 5.1 gigahertz that's eight cores 16 threads this model has 16 gigabytes of ram and also one terabyte of storage and we also have on here the radian 780m this is everything you can get inside the box here you've got the screws here to mount your bracket you've got some stickers in here and also warranty and a user manual I'll show you the actual stickers that go inside the actual PC a little bit later on to illuminate the top. We've also got a base mount here and also a VESA mount if you want to use it on the back of a monitor. HDMI cable here and we also have the power brick here with barrel connector on there. And we have another cable which will have a UK plug in my case, but yours might be a European plug if you order one from your country. And we have also the actual uh, Minis Forum mini PC itself. Now this does have a nice illumination on the top lid there. Also it is magnetic. On the front we have a power button, two USB uh, 3.2 Gen 2 Type A ports on here. We have a USB 4 port and also an audio uh, jack input there as well and a clear CMOS right next to that. On the sides you have this ventilation, really nice looking ventilation here to help air get inside the actual unit on the back we have that big exhaust at the bottom we have our dc 19 volt input there two 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports hdmi port a dp port also ocu link also is on there and we have that usb 4 uh, port on there as well which is nice and two usb 3.2 gen 2 ports on there as well that's on the back on this top part, we do have that magnetic part here where you can just take this off and you can just see through there. And this will illuminate with a symbol which we can put in there. I'll show you how to put that in a little bit later on, but it is magnetic. And this is where the light comes through here. I'm going to remove this part here because I want to gain access inside so I can show you inside the actual mini PC itself. To do that, you just need to remove these four screws here. And this will gain access into the actual mini PC. So inside we do have that Kingston one terabyte drive here. I'll show you the speed of that a little bit later on. We do have room for another uh, NVMe drive in here, which we can populate. And we also have two sticks of memory inside here as well. And they come in models of 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes and 64 gigabytes DDR5 SODIMM memory, 4800 uh, MTS memory speeds. So pretty decent. The storage capacity goes from one terabyte, two terabyte and four terabyte. That's PCIe 2280 NVMe with one port empty as well. You do get this little adapter in the kit as well, which I just thought I'd show you here on screen. But generally, it's a really good uh, mini PC. It's got good quality components in here. And when you see the uh, benchmarks of this one is pretty decent, as you'll see by the benchmarks a little bit later on. The graphics has 12 cores on it. And it is uh, shared graphics, of course, Radeon 780M, which runs at 2,700 megahertz, which is not too bad for a mini PC. So you do have some room for some upgradability. The memory is made by Crucial, as you can see. So pretty good branded stuff inside this mini PC, as you would expect from Minis Forum. Also, what I want to point out is the good thing about this mini PC is during my testing, I had no thermal throttling whatsoever on this mini PC and no heat issues, which is a very good thing for a mini PC because that is probably one of the biggest concerns for a lot of people. And Minis Forum have knocked the ball out of the park with this one. You've got your fan here with your two thermal pads ready for the actual NVMe drives, which you can populate there as well. It's already got one inside there. So I'm just gonna remove this other stick of memory so you can see it's got this coolant on here and also this thermal pad. And I think that's just to help keep everything nice and cool. Again, this is all upgradable. If you've bought the 16 gigabyte version like this version, you can upgrade this to 64 gigs if you wanted to. So you can have more RAM on your mini PC if that's something that you need. Maybe you're doing video editing or something like that and you need more memory. You can go for the higher uh, memory level. I've got it on this little stand here, which comes in the kit as well. You can VESA mount this on the back of a monitor 
but I do like the way this sits up on here as well, which also helps with airflow and cooling. It does come with these little cool uh, templates here, which will go inside the lid and illuminate. And I'll show you that a little bit later on when we remove this and put it inside here. Now, of course, you don't have to have it in there if you don't want to. This is Obsidian Black, the actual mini PC. They do other versions. And there is your VES amount right there as well. This is the actual template. I've got it already on the lid inside. And I'm going to put that back down and there it is all illuminated and it has different colors uh, for it as well. Just want to point out we do have Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.0 on this mini PC as well. So let's go ahead and do some benchmarks now and uh, we'll take a look at some of those. So first off is the uh, read and write speeds of the drive. That's 4,785 reads with 3,880 writes on that uh, NVMe drive. Going to do some benchmarks here we'll do the cpu on the geekbench 6 here and then i'll do the gpu afterwards single core is 2548 multi-core is 12362 let's quickly do the gpu for you so you can see the gpu 33429 on OpenCL score for geekbench 6 on the gpu so let's take a look at cinebench r23 we'll do the cpu multi-core first and what i want to do is going to show you uh, the actual hardware info and show you the actual temperatures because a lot of people always are concerned about temperatures for mini PCs and you would think that this one would thermal throttle or you would have overheating issues but I can tell you there was none and I've run this all the way through and I'm going to show you exactly that there is no thermal throttling and this is very good for a mini PC because a lot of this happens with a lot of other mini PCs where you get a lot of thermal throttling and a lot of power issues and overheating and things like that. But I can safely say that none of this happened with Cinebench. And I've put it through its paces with a bunch of other tests as well and had no issues with that whatsoever. And I've run the whole test right here in front of you so you can see. We've got a score of 16,504. But the most important part is no overheating and no thermal throttling, which is very, very good. Let me just quickly do the uh, single score here for the single core, and it's 1,793. Same thing, no thermal throttling. I'm going to run a 4K stream here just to show you the stats as well, uh, see if you get any sort of missed frames. But and no drop frames, really. Once you get stable, it's silky smooth, playback, no issues whatsoever. I'll quickly skip the play here to see how quick it catches up. And you can see no problems at all. So this is going to be great for Plex or playing 4K movies, and you should have no problem at all. I'm going to quickly do Jellyfish 400 Mbps 4K Ultra HD HEVC 10-bit file. This is quite a taxing file for a lot of mini PCs to play. They always end up with stuttering or jerkiness. But as you can see here, really silky smooth playback. No problem at all playing back files like this. So it's going to handle 4K files, no problem whatsoever, especially at this high bit rate as well. Now, gameplay, if you want to play games, of course, you'll be able to play games on here. You'll be able to do video editing. You'll be able to do office and just general surf in the web and things like that. Of course, they're not really designed for hardcore gaming, but it can play games at different resolutions depending on what game you're playing. There's a, a retro game that I'm playing here. And again, I'm having no problem at all. Got the resolution set right up here and it's having no issues and moving about a little teeny bit of tearing uh, from time to time. But that could be the actual game itself because it was emulated. But the Minis Forum UM780 XTX is a pretty decent uh, bargain, if you ask me, at that sort of price point. If I was buying a mini PC myself, this is the one I'd go for. No thermal issues, great performance. It should do everything you want it to do. This product was sent for review by Minis Forum. All opinions are my own. No one is reviewing this video before it's released, just so you know. But if you're interested, I'll leave all the links in the video description. Also, with that OCU link support, there is another added bonus. Got that dual 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports on there. Bracket, whether you want it on the back of your monitor or whether you want it on its own little stand. It really is a decent bit of kit. And uh, I'll leave all the links and information in the video description. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I'll catch you in the next one. <music>